Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 89. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how DB2 user level registry works. This slide talks about the problem scenario. So the problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how DB2 user level registry works. It is available only in Windows operating systems. It's not available in Unix, Linux, Solaris flavors. The significant learning, the important learning is DB2 user level registry. When they talk about the DB2 user, it signifies the instance user or the user under which the DB2 CC process runs and not the database user. Like at least in my opinion, when I read this, I misinterpreted as, uh, uh, you know, like it is a database user. For example, like the misconception I had was the database DB1 and there is a registry variable DB2 skip inserted and there are two users who can connect to the database. So the DB user one, the registry variable will be set to on and for DB user two, the registry variable will be set to off. This is how I understood initially, but this is actually a misconception. I misunderstood it incorrectly. That's why I have given in black. The, the correct version is given in highlighted in white. So let's say the, there is an instance uh, INST1 under which there is a database DB1 uh, and we are talking about the same registry variable DB2 skip inserted. And there are two Windows administrators, WinADM1 and WinADM2. Now the DB2 CC process or the instance can be run under user WinADM1 or WinADM2. So if it runs under WinADM1, then that particular registry variable will be set to on. If it is running under WinADM2, then the registry variable will be picked up as off. So this is how we should interpret it. So that is the uh, learning. So let us uh, get into a demo and we will see then it will be somewhat easier to understand. Okay. So, so here first I will show you this one. So this is the uh, DB2 admin, uh, DB2 CMD admin uh, prompt. Okay, here you can see for user Harish what are all the registry variables. So for user Harish, I have said DB2 override BPFS 1 comma 4000, which means for the buffer pool ID uh, 1, which is the default buffer pool. 16 MB of buffer pool should be allocated. So this is what that registry variable says uh, for user Harish. Okay. Now let's say db uh, 2 cmd admin. So Harish is one user. At the same time, I can run the cmd admin as a different user as well. So let's say db2 admin. So here also I can say db2 set hyphen all. So you can see that I have set for this db2 admin user, the user level registry is 1 comma 2000 which means uh, 8 MB, right. So which one will be picked up? So whether the db2 admin user registry will be picked up or db2 uh, or the user Harish, right, whether that will be picked up which is for 16 MB, that is what the question is now. That for that answer is. You have to look in the service. See here, if I start the service, it will be running under DB2 admin, right? So let's say I go to here. So this is Harish window, right? But I say DB2 start here. Okay. DB2 activate DB DB. db2 interact-d. See actually even though Harish has started the instance and activated the database, still the process will be running under which user? db2 admin user. So for db2 admin user, what is the override BPF value? 2000. So 8 MB, right? So it should be taking 8 MB. So just like see here, bph 8 MB. Now let's change it. How to change it? We will stop the instance. And we will, you have to come here and say properties. Go to log on. So here you have. Okay. So instead of db2 admin, you can change this as Harish. Give the password. So now the db2 will be started under user Harish. Okay, so now let's go to the 
db2 admin window i start the instance here even though the db2 admin starts it will be running under user harish db2 activate db will pick up 17 MB which is like this one right the 4000 right so the user Harish setting is what is getting picked up even though I started the instance under DB2 admin because the program is running under user Harish that is the key learning here uh, so that is what I mean like then under which user the db2 instance run that user's registry variable will be picked up that is the learning okay uh, hope this information was useful to you uh, see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye please subscribe to my channel db2 lw academy uh, youtube.com thank you